Hi everyone, today I want to talk about the Canoes up arrow notation, which is a quite famous notation in the big numbers or Googleology community. It was first introduced by computer scientist Donald Canoe in 1976 to represent very large numbers. It is a very simple notation, but yet it allows us to write out numbers that usually very very difficult to write out. It is related to hyper operators and some to some degree the Ackermann function. So hyper operators for example are addition, multiplication, exponentiation, and then tetration, implantation, etc. So we can look at it this way. So level one of the hyper operators, level one is addition. So just for example one plus one plus one and then level two is multiplication, which is iterated or repeated addition. So for example, three plus three plus three, it just equals to three times three. And then for level three is exponentiation, which is iterated or repeated multiplication. So for example, three times three times three, it just equal to three to the power of three. And for exponentiation, we can use the up arrow notation. So one arrow means exponentiation. So the Canoe's up arrow notation, it starts with, or it starts at exponentiation. So with just one arrow, it means exponentiation. And then for two arrows, it is known as tetration, which is level four, which is iterated or repeated exponentiation. For level five, next level is called pentation, which is iterated tetration, which is represented by three up arrows. And you can keep going. Let's say let's say level six, level seven, blah blah blah. So let's look at some examples here. So three arrow three again it just means three to the power of three. And then for three double arrow three, it means three arrow three arrow three which is equal to three to the power of three to the power of three. And then with three up arrows, three up arrows, three, it equals to three, double arrow, three, double arrow, three, which is equal to three, double arrow of this thing over here, because three, double arrow, three is this one, which is equal to this one. Again, for this kind of notation, you start from the right to the left. So you have to start work out from the right first, and then you work to the left. And this number is a very big number, it equals to 3 double arrow, 7.6 trillion, which is equal to a power tower of 3 with 7.6 trillion 3s in it. And another way to look at the up arrow notation is that for A up arrow B, it just means A to the power of B. And then for A double arrow B, it means A arrow A arrow A da 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 da. And there are B copies of A. And then for three arrows, A triple arrow B, it just means A double arrow A double arrow da 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 da. And there are B copies of A. And then um, another way, another thing is that you can also write this thing as A arrow C B in this kind of format. So let's say if there are many, many arrows, then you can write uh, a shortcut way to write it is just write the number of arrows as C. So A arrow C B, it just equals to A arrow, 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 arrow with a lot of arrows, B, and there are C number of arrows. So for example, if you, let's say A of arrow a thousand B, it just means A with a thousand of arrows B. So this is a very, very big number. And then let's look at some way to write big numbers with the up arrow notation. So for example, the Google, which is 10 to the power of 100, you can write it as 10 arrow 100. The Googleplex, you can write it as 10 arrow 10 arrow 100. So basically kind of similar to this thing here, you just use up arrow instead. And then if you want, to write even bigger numbers, let's say 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10, this number is bigger than the Googleplex, you can write it as 10 double arrow 4. So two arrows, double arrow in this case is kind of mean um, 
a power tower uh, of this number a so a power tower of 10 and how many levels four b represent the number of levels and then uh, one famous number that uh, is well known to use the up arrow notation is of course Graham's number and for um, let's say g1 the first level of Graham's number is three four arrows three which is a very 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 big number way 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 bigger than the googleplex so as you can see here there's only six symbols in here so three with four arrows three and in just six symbols and it already represents a super 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 huge number a number that is way bigger than the googleplex which is an, again a number that you cannot even write out in our observable universe i mean our universe is just too small to for us to write out this number here but yet this is a very short thing so in other words the canoes up arrow is a very very useful tool or a very simple notation that allows us to write extremely extremely large numbers um, I mean, we can write a very, very, very big number in such a short way or such a simple way. So this is the Canoes Up Arrow Notation. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.